Welcome back everybody, Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group here with Binance Basics lesson number four, candlesticks and timeframes. If you haven't already watched our previous videos, you're gonna make sure to wanna do that first. Also, make sure to stay tuned until the very end of the video because I'm gonna be telling you how to win some free crypto from us. So make sure to watch all the way through so you can get some free crypto, but let's hop right into it. All right, so if you've been watching charts of stocks or you know, you might have seen something that kind of looks like one of these here where it just kind of goes up and down, down and up, that sort of thing. But on crypto here with trading, you're gonna have what they call candlesticks, which are these guys here. Now, right now we're on the week long time frame. Up here, these are the different time frames. We'll talk about those here in a couple of minutes. But right now we're on the week long time frame, 1W, which stands for one week. So each of these little candlesticks is exactly one week long. So let's kind of break that down a little bit more. So there's two different types of candlesticks. You have a bullish candlestick and you have a bearish candlestick. So if each of these were one week long, uh, this bullish candlestick is green and it's gonna mean that within that week, the price closed at the end of the week higher than it opened at. Okay, so that's what this open price is here at the, at the bottom on a green bullish candle. The bottom of that solid thick region is going to be the price that the coin opened at at the very beginning of the week. And then during the middle of the week, if the price dropped, but actually ended up coming back up, that creates what they call a wick or a tail. So you can see that it's a, just a thin line here because it didn't actually go up and close at that price. It, it, it barely touched down and came back up. So right here at the top of the bold region, the close, that's gonna be at the end of the week where it closed at, but maybe during the middle of the week it also got up here, but then came down and closed here. So this solid area is gonna be the growth that it made on a bullish candlestick within the week. This is where it might've touched and came back down, but this is where it closed. Same goes the other, uh, the other direction, vice versa. A bearish candle, on the other hand, is gonna open at the top of the bold region, and it may have gotten a little higher during the week, and then came back down, maybe got super low, and then came back up towards the end of the week and closed right here. So that would be the downward price movement that that coin did during the week, okay? And so right here, you can see all of these different time frames on this chart. And again, we are on the one week chart. So each of these candles represents one week exactly. And this is Bitcoin versus the US dollar tether. Let me go ahead and get rid of these other lines for you guys. So right here, you can see that um, last year, you know, uh, in 2017, around December, Bitcoin actually got up to, you know, almost 20,000. That was the peak of the crypto market, the highest it's ever been. And then we saw this big, long, draw, drawn out pullback. And then we saw crypto winter there in 2018, all of that sort of thing. Uh, these weeks were fairly dead, not a whole lot of movement, not a whole lot of volume. And then here within the past couple of months, we've been picking up again. So for example, on this candlestick chart, you can see that um, last week, Bitcoin opened right around 5,700. On this second uh, from the right candle here, you can see that Bitcoin opened around 5,700. It got all the way up to around uh, 7,400, and then it ended up closing right around 7,000. So that's an example of a week long candle right there. And then this was this week. This week you can see that the price really shot up and it's moved back down and is sitting right around that uh, 7,200 range. Okay, so that was Bitcoin. Now, like I said, this was the week long chart. There's also one month. So if I click that, you can now see that each of these candles is exactly one month. Same principles apply. This is the open of this month and this is the top that it's been at, and this month hasn't quite finished up yet, so it hasn't made a new candle, but once this month is over, it'll immediately start a new candle. Now, you can even go down onto smaller time frames, such as the day chart here, and now each of these candles does the same thing, same rules apply, but each of these candles is one day long. So right here, you can see this steady climb out of that hole on Bitcoin. You can see that each of these candles over the past you know, uh, 30, 60 days or so have been fairly bullish. Um, there was a little bit of a pullback here. And then these past two days, we have seen a little bit of a market correction as um, Bitcoin and all of the other altcoins really uh, pushed forward in price. We had some huge upward momentum. So there's generally a pullback after that. So you can see that these past two days have been bearish red candles compared to these green ones that, we've, that we have been seeing. Uh, but that's normal in a market like this. You can't see upward movements like this forever. There's always gonna be minor pullbacks and then we'll see another push here again soon. 
okay? And then you can break it down into even smaller time frames. So here on under the H uh, drop down menu, you have one hour, two hour, four hour, six hour, 12 hour. So if we go to like the one hour chart, this is where you can get a closer look in what the market's doing in a more immediate sense and a more immediate perspective. And now you can see that each of these candlesticks is exactly one hour long. Now, um, for day traders, you might be trading on the hour chart where you're hoping to hold a position open maybe for four or five hours throughout the day, or even swing traders sometimes trade on the hour chart. And I know I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit. The next few videos are gonna show you guys exactly how to trade and when you're going to want to trade and that sort of thing. But obviously, you know, you know the basic sense of the market is that it's going up and down. You know, you've got this sort of S curve kind of thing going on most of the time. So obviously if this market's pulled back quite a bit here, um, you know, you might see a little more pullback or some upwards movement. Um, but this is the hour chart where again, you can get more of an immediate time frame and a perspective going on. And then under the M drop down when you, you have the minute chart. So you've got one, three, five, 15 and 30. So if you, if you notice on like the hour chart, you have pretty consistent curves in, in that sort of S pattern where it's going up and down decently smoothly. But if you look at like the one minute chart right here, you can see that things are much more volatile, meaning price is going up and down very rapidly and pretty spontaneously and random. So you can see that this price has kind of been up and down and all over the place. So, you know, uh, there's a few different types of trading. So you have um, from the top, you've got investors or holders in the crypto community that are gonna plan to hold their coins for years, um, you know, years on end. And then you've got swing traders, which hold their positions. They might buy some Bitcoin and hold on to it for a few days and then sell it in a few days with a profit. And then you've got day traders, which are you know generally um, buying positions for a few hours and selling for a small profit. And then you've got scalpers. Scalpers are trading on like the five minute, the one minute, the 15 minute charts. And they're trying to catch these little moves and then sell. And then they're gonna wait for a little pullback, they're gonna buy in again, and then they're gonna wait for a little move up and sell. And you catch little profits, but a bunch of them, and it can add up in the long run. So scalpers are gonna be trading again, you know, maybe on the one minute chart, looking to catch something like this right here. I mean, that'd be a quick, um, you know, let's say a scalper saw this this drop right here over the uh, you know 10 15 minutes. If they are able to buy down here in this low and then sell up here at this target, you know that'd be a quick 1.5 percent. You get a few of those a day, and it can really add up in the long run. Now. Uh, swing traders, like I said, swing traders might be holding their trades for a few days. There's actually, you know, obviously you're not looking for 1.5%, you might be looking for um, something a little more significant. So let's say um, a swing trader saw this little red dip here on Bitcoin. So they bought in on this low and then um, saw some more pullback and, and sold out there. That would have been, you know, around 11%. So obviously not as many trades, but the trades are gonna give you a lot more in return. So those are the few different styles. Personally, myself, I am a day trader. I generally trade on like the 15, 30 minute and one hour charts. And I try to go for 3% a day. And we're definitely gonna show you guys some strategies and how to do that. But right here, you can see like on the hour chart, you know, I might try to catch a swing like, um, like over here where we saw this low and then we saw a peak up here, you know, and that would have been, um, 17% and that would have been a really, really nice day trade. That would have actually been a swing trade because that was over a couple of days. Um, but anyways, beyond the point, if I broke it down into like a 15 minute chart as a day trader, um, you'll be able to see that the, the percent gains won't be as significant, but if you make a few trades a day, they can really add up in the long run like I was saying. And so you can see kind of here on Bitcoin, there's obviously been quite the pullback recently after that huge market movement. But even these little runs that you can see in here, they can add up in the long run. So if you saw this drop and maybe some indicators and levels were telling you that that would be a good entry point, that would have been a you know quick 5%. I mean, 5% off of $10,000 is, is 500 bucks. So that can, that can really, really add up in the long run. Okay, so those are the different time frames and kind of how to read the candlestick charts. And again, it, 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 we're keeping it very basic right now. We're definitely gonna be making more advanced videos. These videos are more directed towards a, a beginning audience, those who are just getting into crypto trading, just trying to get their feet wet a little bit and learn the ropes. So we're definitely gonna go over some, you know, um, more intensive and, and deeper concepts on, on why, you know, we'll, we'll talk about why this price stopped right here or why this price um, only got down here and then came back up and all of those sort of things to really make some profitable trades. But those are gonna be some more advanced concepts for some later videos. Uh, this is just, we're keeping it super basic. 
So there you have it. We went over Binance Basics lesson number four, candlesticks and time frames. So now you know your way around the chart a little bit. You know how to switch some time frames up. And again, the future videos are gonna teach you how to make some trades. That's actually gonna be the next lesson. Uh, but make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Share our channel with your friends. We're always giving away free crypto. Make sure to put your Tron addresses below. And now what you've all been waiting for, it's time to learn how to get some free crypto. All right, so it's very simple, you guys. All you have to do is go to our website. Oh, first you have to subscribe to our channel, and then you're gonna go to our website, and you're gonna click right here on our homepage. Our website is idahocryptogroup.com. You're gonna click right here on our homepage and click Contact Us. And now all you're gonna do is put in your name. You don't have to put in your full name. You can put in your, you know, your YouTube uh, username or whatever you need. And then you're just gonna put a message and you're just gonna say, I subscribed. And you're gonna hit send and we're gonna send everyone who does that some of our own ICG token. Super easy way to get some free crypto. So make sure to do that and share this video with their friends so they can also do the same. And thanks again for tuning in to lesson number four, Finance Basics, and we'll catch you next time.